Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna go over the concept of ideal solutions. By definition, an ideal solution is that um, in which each component obeys Raoult's law under all conditions of temperatures and concentrations. So the solution uh, away Raoult's law over entire range of concentration known as ideal solution. So let's say we have component A and component B and when we mix them we get an ideal solution. So we can change the concentration of A or B with all possibilities and they will away Raoult's law. So as per Raoult's law the partial vapor pressure of component A when we mix them is equal to mole fraction of component A and P naught A which is vapor pressure of the pure component A and same thing PV is equal to XB P naught B. So both component obeys Raoult's law. Next thing is there is no change in volume on mixing the two components. So in ideal solutions, the volume of the solution is the sum of the volumes of the components before mixing them. So there is no change in the volume on mixing. So let's say VA is the volume of component A and BB the volume of the component B before mixing. So this is the total volume before mixing and it is going to be equal to volume of the solution after mixing. So there is no change in the volume. So delta V which represents the change in the volume after mixing is going to be zero. Next thing is in ideal solutions there is no change in enthalpy means no heat is evolved or absorbed when two components are mixed and it is represented by delta H the change in enthalpy and we can say mix is equal to zero. So this happens because there is no change in magnitude of the attractive forces in the two components and I'm gonna go over this concept on next slide. So intermolecular interactions between the components which is a v attraction are same magnitude as in pure components so the forces of attraction between a and b exactly the same as the force of attraction between a and a and b and b so the forces of attraction between a and B are exactly same as between AA and BB. This happens because in ideal solutions basically uh, the molecular size of the components are identical. So, so two components um, the identical in molecular size and structure and therefore they have identical intermolecular forces. So that's another thing we look for ideal solutions. The examples of ideal solutions we have uh, benzene uh, when we mix it with toluene we get an ideal solution. That's the most commonly used example. Then we have ethyl bromide and ethyl chloride. That's another example. Ethyl bromide and ethyl chloride. So those are the examples of ideal solutions. Practically if we say no solution is ideal like it is very rare like ideal solutions are very rare but um, when the concentration of solute very very low then solution behaves ideal. So the, the, we can say there is a condition on it like the concentration um, of the solute is very low or very diluted solutions then uh, the solution behave ideally. So very dilute solutions are nearly ideal and these are the examples. So that's all about 
ideal solutions. Thank you for watching my video and visiting my channel. Please do share and subscribe. That motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.